All right, good morning. God bless everybody. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. See a couple of little spirits just then. I don't know if you guys are able to see it. Uh, they're about, man. What does it say? Despise not the chastisement of the Lord. Do not despise it. You know, if you're having dreams and you're seeing things all the time, I see it every night. I've had mighty powerful things revealed to me even while I was awake seeing things. The more you uh, die to this world and and believe on that spirit, as sure as the Lord liveth. When you read the Bible, man, people that spoke like that, as sure as the Lord liveth. Boy, he moved mightily around them. And King David, too. And uh, anyhow... Um, stay focused, you guys, on the Lord. Don't despise his chastisement either. A lot of the things that he's doing, man, this world we we were born into is corrupted, okay? It's all corrupted. And you don't want, you, you want to be, you want to die to this world. You want to be born again into the spiritual and you're going to die more and more. Other words, you're going to manifest more and more, either into the Lord in obedience, or you're going to manifest more into this, the darkness. That's what I was seeing last night in my dreams. You know, even like the immigrants that are here working and stuff like that, I see where they're going to be very unpleasant. Let me put it this way. It's not just them. Anybody. If this time is coming upon them unaware, they're all going to be very unhappy campers here in this world. Because things are changing. Okay? They're not going to like it. <clears throat> I got a few things that I want to read. And uh, then I'm going to move on. I got some place to go. I might pick up on it later after I get done when I get where I'm going. Romans chapter 8, verse 7. Because the carnal mind is amenity against God, for it's not subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can be. It's very important that we change the way our, we think everything, the way we live, believe. You know, a lot of people, they just, that's why they're carrying guns in the churches. Because they've been so corrupted. Uh, I'm not saying they're all going to pass away. They've got a long ways to go. And it's like that level. When, it, when are they going to reach that level when they believe? Like Israel, when are they going to reach that level when they turn to the Lord? Look at the history. And when when it's happened over and over and over and over, it was a certain level, then bing, they ca cried out to the Lord. You know, um, this is what we need to be, you know, we need to be done with this place. We need to be, you know, following him. Bold as you ought to be, you know. Like what it says in Ephesians uh, chapter 6, 19 and 20. You know, we, we, we're we not here. We didn't get our eyes open to keep playing with this. This place is wicked, man. But anyhow, the Lord, what I was seeing last night, even whatever happens, he can undo it. He can make it void. Whatever they do. You know, they might do something, but he can undo it. And make it void. In other words, like it never happened. Yeah, I know this for a fact. And it really happened to me. When I woke up one morning and heard this guy. He was wicked too, man. Evil. I heard that evil spirit that I've heard in so many other people. In this guy twice. And that's when I drove that double rainbow. And both times when we hit the rainbow. He passed out like a light switch turned off. And uh, I heard him on the phone. Three, four o'clock in the morning speaking to somebody going... You can't do nothing to him. He's got the hand of God on him. You know? Listen, you've got the greatest gift that there is right now. If your eyes are open, you've received the Spirit of God. Don't take this for granted in any way, shape, or form. This world, Satan's the God of it. You're here to choose who you're going to follow. You can still be in this world, but following the Lord. You can be uh, a vessel for the Lord. Or you can be a vessel for the other. You can't do both. Like the House of Congress, Republican, Democrat. Let me tell you, both of them are liars. 
Republicans and Democrats. That's, you've been raised up in lies your whole life. The sooner you believe that and get to the understanding of that, everything that you've been taught has been a lie. All right. First Corinthians chapter three, verse three. For you are, for ye are yet carnal. For whereas there is among you envy, strife, divisions, are you not carnal and walk as men? That's why I told you, I seen like these immigrants that are here, they're all gonna be getting uh, angry. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna cause it for them. Probably like everybody else, I don't know. But that's gonna be the time when we leave, when they all get really mad, uh, when you start seeing civil unrest. And the police ain't gonna be able to deal with this because it's spiritual. They won't be able to deal with it. They don't even know what's happening to them is spiritual. You know, we've received the Spirit of God. That's why we have an understanding. They don't have, you know. All right. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're mighty through God, the pulling down of strongholds. Spiritual. First Corinthians 3, 18 to 20, or 11. 3, 18 to 12. I'm sorry. Actually, 16. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seems to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. In other words, uh, you, you know, you've been following the darkness and you don't even know it. And your parents, your parents, 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 this place was all following some form of, you know, let's make our own history here. You know, that's why the school system, they teach you their history. They don't go into the Word of God and teach you the Word of God, the history of them going back and forth between what's carnal and spiritual. No, they don't want to know. Let's forget about the spiritual. Let's focus on carnal. That's why I'm telling you, the devil does not want you thinking spiritually. He's already driving all these people, and they don't even know it. Their love, their lust, their things, you know, that are not good. All right? For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he takes the wise in their own craftiness. But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searcheth all things, yeah, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of man? Save the spirit of man, which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. That's why I say that you give yourself over to the Spirit, man. Don't despise the chastising of the Lord, like it says, you know, because um, sometimes it feels like, why am I Why am I seeing this? Why, 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 why? You know, how come I'm not seeing heavenly things? And, you know, it's, why isn't it always beautiful? You know, well, we got to get cleansed. We got to be made ready. You know, doesn't it say they made themselves ready? in the blood of the lamb, you know, made themselves ready. It didn't say, poof, they were instantly made ready. All uh, right, you know, like I said, you guys, I don't try to pipe up a little fantasy world here. You know, they even had a show like that in Hollywood called Fantasyland. The plane, boss, the plane. You know, television, man. They led people to air and stupidity. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it's written, he takes the wise in their own craftiness. In other words, the wisdom of this world. He takes them in their own craftiness. I will recompense you according to your ways. All right. For what man knoweth the things of man, save the spirit of man, which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Now, we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us. See, they've got the Spirit of the world. And we were once heading that course, as it says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2. We were once heading in that direction. And then he quickened us in with Christ after we received the Spirit of God. And it's just been like, wow, ever since, you know? Really, truly amazing 
uh, the understanding, you know, it's like, you guys, it's going to be beautiful, man. I'm telling you, it's going to be beautiful once we get past this. All right. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man wisdom teaches. You see, the school system, all this, man. The word of God has told you from the beginning it's bad. People don't want to read that. No, they want to, they want to include God in all their wickedness, you know, in all their wickedness, like it's justifying it. That's how blind they are. The blind lead the blind. You know, you guys, you didn't get your eyes open to continue walking in darkness. All right. Born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible. The born again is dead to this world. Test all spirits. If they're still of the world, you got your answer. Yeah. If they don't see these things that we're able to put together, you got your answer. If you tell them and they still can't receive it, you got your answer. Now, uh, which things also we speak, not the words which man's wisdom teaches, but what the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Remember, you're not fighting with flesh and blood, but you're looking at people that if they're not of us, you got your answer. But the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Yeah, he himself is judged of no man. For who knoweth, who knows the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. That's where we're getting this marvelous revelation, guys. It's beautiful. I've got quite a few other things to do. I'm just here. I just wanted to do this quick upload while I go do some things. And then I'll come on later, okay? God bless everybody. Stay strong in the name of our Lord. we got a nice cloudy day today. Stay strong in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And uh, like it says, despise not the chastising of the Lord. Okay? Be born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible. God bless you in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.